Welcome to a special Monday night edition of the Moment of Truth. This episode was so controversial, it sparked a long debate as to whether or not to air it at all. Quite honestly, if I had my vote, it would not air. It is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television, asking these questions and listening to the answers that were given. But in the end, it was decided that this episode should air. I will tell you, however, that the truth is often not pretty. So here it is. This is the Moment of Truth. Tonight, the controversial episode you weren't supposed to see. Housewife Lauren Cleary will say anything in her attempt to win $500,000. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Her truth leaves her family shocked and destroys her marriage. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? And just when she thinks it can't get any worse. This question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest, your ex-boyfriend, Frank. My God. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? Sometimes the truth goes too far. show all of our participants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam. They don't know the results of that test, but if they tell the truth, they can win up to a half a million dollars. And if they feel they may not have been truthful during the polygraph test, they can change their answers tonight. Well, let's meet our first participant. Lauren Cleary is a 26-year-old hair salon assistant from Piermont, New York. She is the oldest of three children. She is married to a New York City police officer. She was asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Lauren Cleary, this is your moment of truth. I guess that would be a good thing to be. I know you're probably a little nervous. Do you think you're going to be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? I hope so. I hope so, too. <laughs> Lauren, as you know, there are six levels of questioning. The further you go, the harder the questions get, and the more money you can win. You can quit at any time, Lauren. Take the money. But once you hear a question, you have to answer that question. And remember, if you're caught lying even one time, you lose everything and the game is over. Got it. Lauren, you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, you've brought family and friends to support you as well. Let's meet them right now. Who's here? I'm Frank, Lauren's husband. Hello, Frank. Right I'm Jay, uh, Lauren's father. I'm Kim, Lauren's mother. Hi, I'm Monica, Lauren's sister. And I'm Tim, Lauren's brother. Welcome to all of you. <laughs> Glad to have you here. You know that these questions range from sometimes the silly to the very personal. Are you ready for this? Ready. Lauren, ready. Okay, know. I hope that you are. Lauren, are you ready? I'm ready. I am too. Let's begin. Okay, Lauren, we start with level one, and it has six questions. All you have to do is answer all six truthfully. You win $10,000, and that's a good start, isn't it? Got it, yes. Remember, if you're ever concerned about the answers you gave on your polygraph exam, you can change them if you want tonight. Okay? What do you do for a living? I am a manager at a salon. Question one. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when in fact you did? Well, no, I have never. That answer is true. So far, so good. That's one truthful answer. One. Five more, $10,000. What do you like to do for fun, Lauren? I'm pretty much, I don't, I don't know, everything and anything. I'm, I'm up for anything. Question two. 
Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? <laughs> Frank, you think she's ever flashed a stranger? You know her. <laughs> I've flashed strangers, so I'm sure she's flashed strangers. So I think, uh, yeah, I think she That has. wouldn't surprise you, huh? Not at all. No. Well, let's go to you. It's your moment of truth. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? I'm going to have to say yes, Mark. I have. <laughs> That answer is true. That's too truthful. Four more to ten thousand uh, dollars. I understand you used to work as a veterinary assistant. Yes. You like animals? Love animals. I guess that would be important there, huh? Oh yeah. Question three. Would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? Well, I would have to say I'd rather give food to a dog rather than a person. So your answer would be yes? Yes. That's, that's that smart. That answer is true. So that's three truths for three more $10,000. One of the things I find so interesting about this program is that you'll answer something like that and invariably the audience will applaud. That's right, don't give food to homeless, give it to the dog. They just look at you with the cute puppy faces they and seem... then you have somebody who's got a really nasty, dirty face. It's like, hmm. <laughs> Somehow I don't feel Michael. better now that you've cleared it up there, Lauren. <laughs> got your brother and your sister here. Are you too close to Lauren? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Lauren, you would say you're close to your brother and sister? Not as close as I would like us to be, but more oh, close. That's cute. <laughs> Question four. Have you ever derived pleasure when one of your siblings has gotten into trouble? <laughs> yeah, how close you guys really are. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> um, yes, I have. <laughs> I have. <laughs> that answer is true. Two more, $10,000. Family and friends, we're thrilled that you're here, but you're not just here to listen because as we've already seen, the questions can have things to do with you. You do have a little bit of control. You see that button in front of you there. Yeah. If at any time you hear a question, you don't want to hear the answer, hit the button. We'll take that question out, replace it with a new question. You can only use it once though, okay? Yes. You want to try it once, Frank? Why not? There we go. Two more questions, you get $10,000, Lauren. So far, the questions have been fun, but not too hard. Not too hard. Would you say you're a trustworthy person? I think so. Yeah? Yes. People can count on you? I think so. Question five. Have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? Well, okay. <laughs> Are you waiting for them to hit the button? No, 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 not waiting at all. You're okay um, with it. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I've come to terms with the accepting this. So, uh, yes, I have gotten fired from job. That answer is true. Okay. That's five, Lauren. One more truthful question, $10,000. Want to tell me about the time that you got fired? I don't particularly like to talk about it. So, what's in the past is in the past, so I like to. I'm moved on a completely different person now, so. One more you want to I hope to some degree you have since your husband is a police officer. So, what do you think about this, Frank? Well, I, I arrested her, and so by me arresting her is me marrying her. So, I am, <laughs> she's in my prison. You are quite the romantic, Frank. <laughs> no, I don't understand my kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've only just begun to scratch the surface. That was already a pretty deep question. That was only question five on your way through 21 of these I questions. I know. The reason I bring that up is that you've answered five questions. You haven't won anything. You're one question away from $10,000. Yes. You could stop at any time. What do you want me to ask you the sixth question? Bring it on, Mark. Lauren Cleary, this is your $10,000 moment of truth. Question six. If you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment?
Oh my goodness. Not um, a tricky to answer given what you've just shared, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much, because then it will kind of contradict itself. <laughs> uh, I am going to have to say, no, I would not. That answer is... Something we'll find out right after this break. We'll find out more about Lauren Cleary right after this. Coming up, Lauren Cleary pushes the truth too far. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? This question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest, your ex-boyfriend, oh, Frank. Oh, my God. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? And her answers will destroy her marriage. This special edition of The Moment of Truth continues. Welcome back to The Moment of Truth. I'm here with Lauren Cleary, who's just been asked pretty difficult question, especially with what little we've learned about you already. I asked you if you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? Your answer was, no, no you would not. Before we find out if that's a lie or if it's the truth, Frank, you believe it. Uh, I do. I, I do not think she would again. Definitely not. Let's find out. That answer is... True. Congratulations. You won, yeah. honestly yeah. and legally, $10,000. Good start. You've made it through the first level. You have $10,000. That is your money to keep, Lauren, if you walk away right now. If you don't walk away, it's at risk every time I ask a new question. To get to the top of level two, you'll win $25,000. You have to answer five questions to get there. But you can stop at any time. Do you want to go on? What do you guys think? <laughs> go for it. All the way. Would you consider yourself more of a morning person or a night owl? Uh, definitely a night owl. So you like definitely. to stay up late? Yes, yep. I hate waking up early in the morning. I hate it. <laughs> Question seven. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? What do you think the answer is? <laughs> yes. answer. We'll see. <laughs> so, all right. Well, the question's on you, Lauren. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> that answer is true. Seven truthful answers on your way to the next level, $25,000. Congratulations. You have a lot of friends? Um, used to. Not so much anymore. Question eight. Do you blame your husband for your lack of close friends? Yes, I do. That answer is true. Three more, I give you $25,000, but each time you risk your $10,000. Lauren, that, that's gotta be tough to move with your husband to a new place and leave all of your friends. It is, it's very difficult. How do you guys deal with that? Take each day as it comes, right? Yeah, each day as it comes. I'm getting there. How long you two been married? Two years. You're really starting out. Yeah. Would you say your family is very supportive of you? I think so. Question nine. Would you ever be a surrogate mother for your sister if she were unable to have children? 
<laughs> um, yes, I would be. That answer is... True. Wow. That's your ninth truthful answer. You know, this is a tough question because that's, that's sort of like, would you donate an organ or something like that? And, and the answer that we're accustomed to say is the right answer, which is sure, I would do that. But would you truly do that? And she just proved that she truly would do that for you. It's really nice. I've never heard of that from her mouth before. <laughs> We've talked about how close you are with your brother and your sister. I know now how committed you are to your sister, if she were to need it. Would you say you're close to mom and dad? Pretty close. Again, not as close as I would like to be, but. You aware of that? Um, I love her unconditionally. Question 10. Do you think your parents are proud of you? <laughs> this is one of those questions that looks easy. Yeah. But you and I both know how hard that can be. Yeah. Um, the truth, Lauren. Yeah, this is, this is a tough one. <laughs> oh. Don't answer yet. We'll be right back right after this. Coming up, Lauren Cleary pushes the truth too far. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? This question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest, your ex-boyfriend, oh Frank. Oh, my God. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? And her answers will destroy her marriage. This special edition of The Moment of Truth continues. Welcome back to the Moment of Truth. Before the break, I asked you this question. Do you think your parents are proud of you? Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? We've had this discussion. Do you think your parents are proud of you? Yes or no? No, I don't think my parents are proud of me. That answer is... True. Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? She doesn't have anything to make me proud of her. I love her unconditionally. Okay, here's where we are. You've answered 10 questions truth. If you can answer question 11, Truthfully, you've won $25,000 and the right to keep going all the way up to half a million dollars. Given how emotional you feel right now and how difficult this is already, there's no shame in walking out of here with $10,000, even with only one question left. So, Lauren, this really is a moment of truth for you. Are we going to stop now or do you want this question Go, left? Lauren, you're doing great. I don't want the question. Go. Go. Got it. You're not on. Lauren, this is your $25,000 moment of truth. Question 11. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? Yes, I do. That answer is... True. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, Lauren. You just won $25,000. How does that feel? Feels good. Feels good. $25,000 is yours. Yeah. We will talk about what you do next in our game, but I'm interested to know why you ran out of your seat and hugged her. Is it that she won the money or that she's keeping the secret? 
<laughs> I'm already in trouble. I don't know. Both. I don't know. A little bit of both. We'll huh? talk later. I didn't think he was going to come over here and hug me. <laughs> well, I get the feeling that this is something you guys are going to discuss without us. I think she wants to know. <laughs> yeah, so. Anything you want to say, Mom? We'll talk later. <laughs> You have $25,000, that much we know is true. <laughs> Lauren, these questions that have hit so close to home that they've had you teary are not even close to as personal as they're gonna get. I know. The next level is four questions. If you can be truthful through those four questions, you will win $100,000. If you lie, you lose the $25,000 you've already earned. So my question is, what are you gonna do? Do you wanna continue or are we gonna stop here? <laughs> we will find out right after this. Stay with us, we'll be back with more of the Moment of Truth right after this. Coming up, Lauren Cleary pushes the truth. Too far. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? This question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest, your ex-boyfriend, oh Frank. Oh, my God. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? And her answers will destroy her marriage. For those of you just joining us, we're about to continue with Lauren Cleary in her attempt to win $500,000. As I said before, this is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television. Quite honestly, if I had had my vote, it would not have aired. But since the decision was made to broadcast it, I want to warn you that what you're about to see is very difficult to watch. I'm here with Lauren Cleary, her husband Frank of two years, mom and dad, brother and sister, everybody is here, relatively intact at this point. Is that fair to say? Yeah. You have $25,000, Lauren. Before the break, Lauren, I asked you, is that enough money, $25,000, or do you want to risk it to go on? And I promised you that these questions would get more personal. They were already very personal, far more personal than half the people watching the show would even endure. And I'm looking at this next tier, not later on, right now. It's gonna get deep. You wanna continue? Well, to be honest, I am really not concerned about the money. I just, I feel a lot better getting this, everything I need to get off my chest, so. Okay. So that means? We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Okay. How's the communication between you and your husband, Frank? Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah, Frank? Yeah. Yeah. Question 12. Do you secretly stay in touch with any boyfriends that your husband does not know about? What do you think, Frank? I think I want to hear her answer. Uh, the answer is no. That answer is... True. That one scared me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Scare you, Frank? <laughs> a little bit. I got, I got confidence in her, though. You so have confidence. I trust her. Yeah. You have $25,000. You're three questions away from $100,000, and you said the money is really not the object. 
Think about the people, not just you, but think about the people who will hear your truth tonight. What do you want to do? Do you want question 13? Well, they may not like the answer, but I think they'll eventually appreciate the answer. So I want number 13, lucky number 13. <laughs> I hope so for you. Lauren, I know that you've moved recently and you don't have as many friends as you used to have, but do you occasionally like the girls' night out? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. it's important to have those nights, it is. right? Question 13. Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? That's a good one. That. Yeah. <laughs> right in the ticker, right there. I tried to warn you. No, it's okay. Um, yes, I have. That answer is... Oh, boy. True. That's 13 truthful answers. So I congratulate you on you being truthful. Two more to $100,000, but that is a truthful answer that um, I can't even spin to be a good answer. Frank, how do you feel about that? Maybe I'm sure she has her reasons, and I'll find out later. I don't know if I have the stomach for the rest of these questions. <laughs> You're making it worse on us. <laughs> I'm being as honest as I know how to be. Uh, I look at the question, I don't know you guys before we meet here, and this is a doozy. Stop me before I ask the question if you don't want to answer it. No, Hit the button if you don't want to hear the answer. So uh, I'll just ask you this before we get into the question. Did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon? <laughs> it was nice. Frank? Yeah, we had a good time. We enjoyed ourselves. Question 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Oh, man. Coming up, Lauren Cleary pushes the truth too far. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? This question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest to your ex-boyfriend, oh, Frank. Oh, my God. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? And her answers will destroy her marriage. So uh, I'll just ask you this before we get into the question. Did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon? <laughs> it was nice. Frank? Yeah, we had a good time. We enjoyed ourselves. Question 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? One more, you win $100,000, but I'm sure I'm not the only one watching this program wondering if that $100,000 is worth it, given what we're doing. But it's your world, your relationship, your choices. Frank, were you aware that she had those feelings on your wedding day? Uh, no, I knew that she did have feelings for, you know, ex boyfriends and everybody does. I didn't know that she might have been in love with them. Lauren, 
One more question to get you $100,000. Unless you tell me to stop. I can't talk you into stopping, can I? <laughs> no, I'm ready for number 15. All right. I, um, I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. Okay? You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest. Oh, my. Lauren, can you tell everybody who this is? Or do I need to do it? I, I can't speak right now, so. This is your ex-boyfriend, Frank. Frank has a question for you. <clears throat> and I hope this $100,000, if you win it, is worth this question. If you don't want the answer, you still have the button. I don't need to remind you. This question is for $100,000. When you're ready, question 15. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? <laughs> One more question to get you $100,000, unless you tell me to stop. I can't talk you into stopping, can I? No, I'm ready for number 15. All right. I, um, I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. OK? You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest. Oh, my. <laughs> Lauren, can you tell everybody who this is? Or do I need to do it? I, I can't speak right now, so. This is your ex-boyfriend, Frank. Hello, Frank. How you doing? Frank has a question for you. <clears throat> And I hope this $100,000, if you win it, is worth this question. If you don't want the answer, you still have the button. I don't need to remind you. This question is for $100,000. When you're ready, question 15. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? <laughs> Hold on. That question is a devastating question. Of course. You could course. avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. Yeah. No? <laughs> OK. Hold on a second. Audience, I know that this is entertaining to watch, but this is real. Frank wanted to hear the answer to this question. Monica, why did you hit the button? 
I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. <laughs> okay. I have I have a question to replace that with. Before I do that, my question to you, Lauren, is: Did she just save you or cost you a hundred thousand dollars? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> One of the things that you know if you watch the program is that I will replace the question, but I can't guarantee that that question's gonna be any easier. Here's another question that your ex-boyfriend, Frank, will ask in place. So, I've given Frank an alternate question. It replaces the one that Monica stopped. If you are truthful, it'll be worth $100,000, and I hope, Warren, that that is a, a gamble that's worth it for you. So, ex-boyfriend Frank, once again, question 15. <clears throat> Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? Well, <laughs> Um, um, I want to be honest and say yes. That answer is... True. I'm not sure what to say. You've answered 15 questions truthfully. You've won $100,000. Uh, first of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say at this point? No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear. So, might as well just go for it. Have you guys talked about this ex-boyfriend at all? Yeah, earlier on in our marriage, but I mean, I didn't know he was still an issue. I mean, with an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're, you're not happy. Are you unhappy? Sometimes. Sometimes. Warren, what do we do here? This is a... Uh... Warren, what else is there? You know what I mean? Just go for it. This is a little bigger than the game right now. So you have $100,000, OK? You leave here with $100,000 right now, and you go home with your husband, Frank, and you have to now figure out where you two are. I would tell her to go. What else is there to tell me? What, el what else is there to really tell me? What? Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. You certainly aren't going to keep you here. If you've had enough, you can take $100,000 and leave. And, but questions? Frank makes a very good point. After this bomb that's been dropped, <laughs> what else is there? You know, I don't. You know the questions. What else is there? So what do you want to do? You want to leave with $100,000 or three more questions get you $200,000? Three more questions. Three more. Lauren. 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 We're going. You got this point, the hard How questions, you can go now. All the rest you only of need three easy. questions to win $200,000, but as you know, you only have to mess up once to lose everything. Mom, what do you say for her to do? I say, Mom take always, it, leave it now. now. Mom would say that. I, I'm going to keep on going mm. because... I will let you know that the questions I've already asked you, a couple of them, are way over my line. This one's further than that. You probably know what's coming next. I think so. And you want it anyway. Question 16. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband?
I wish the button was still there. Yeah, telling me. I'm gonna have to say yes. That answer is true. Okay, Lauren. Two more gets you two hundred thousand dollars. But be careful. One mistake, you lose it all. Are you feeling like you should go for it now? Yeah. Okay. Question seventeen. Do you think you're a good person? Honestly, I think I am a good person. So your answer is? Yes. That answer is? It's true. It's true. False. Lauren, I am so, so sorry. Why do you think this came up as a lie for you when I asked you if you think you're a good person? Because even after everything that I have done, stealing the money and everything, I think that I've become a better person. That's why I think I am a good person. Yet it came up as a lie, which means that somewhere in you, you haven't forgiven yourself. And you, somewhere, your truth is that you don't think you're a good person at all. Why don't you go out and hang out with your family? And I thank you very much, Lauren, for being on the show. I wish you the best. I honestly believe that some truths are better left unsaid. Hopefully, Lauren and her family can make peace with what happened here tonight. I, I wish them all the very best. See you next time on The Moment of Truth. Welcome to a special Monday night edition of The Moment of Truth. This episode was so controversial, it sparked a long debate as to whether or not to air it at all. Quite honestly, if I had my vote, it would not air. It is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television, asking these questions and listening to the answers that were given. But in the end, it was decided that this episode should air. I will tell you, however, that the truth is often not pretty. So here it is. This is The Moment of Truth. Tonight, the controversial episode you weren't supposed to see. Housewife Lauren Cleary will say anything in her attempt to win $500,000. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Her truth leaves her family shocked and destroys her marriage. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? And just when she thinks it can't get any worse. This question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest, your ex-boyfriend, oh, Frank. My God. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? Sometimes the truth goes too far. Prior to tonight's show, all of our participants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam. They don't know the results of that test, but if they tell the truth, 
they can win up to a half a million dollars. And if they feel they may not have been truthful during the polygraph test, they can change their answers tonight. Well, let's meet our first participant. Lauren Cleary is a 26-year-old hair salon assistant from Piermont, New York. She is the oldest of three children. She is married to a New York City police officer. She was asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Lauren Cleary, this is your moment of truth. How are you feeling right now? Great, I'm pumped. I guess that would be a good thing to be. I know you're probably a little nervous. You think you're going to be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? I hope so. I hope so too. <laughs> Lauren, as you know, there are six levels of questioning. The further you go, the harder the question you get, and the more money you can win. You can quit at any time, Lauren. Take the money. But once you hear a question, you have to answer that question. And remember, if you're caught lying even one time, you lose everything and the game is over. Got it. Lauren, you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, you've brought family and friends to support you as well. Let's meet them right now. Who's here? I'm Frank, Lauren's husband. Hello, Frank. Hi, I'm Jay, uh, Lauren's father. I'm Kim, Lauren's mother. Hi, I'm Monica, Lauren's sister. Now I'm Tim, Lauren's brother. Welcome to all of you. <laughs> Glad to have you here. You know that these questions range from sometimes the silly to the very personal. Are you ready for this? Sure. Ready. I'm ready. Okay, I, I hope that you are. Lauren, are you ready? I'm ready. I am too. Let's begin. Okay, Lauren, we start with level one, and it has six questions. All you have to do is answer all six truthfully. You win $10,000, and that's a good start, isn't it? Got it. Remember, if you're ever concerned about the answers you gave on your polygraph exam, you can change them if you want tonight. Okay? What do you do for a living? I am an assistant manager at a salon. Question one. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when in fact you did? Well, no, I have never. That answer is... True. Wow. So far, so good. That's one truthful answer. One. Five more, <laughs> $10,000. What do you like to do for fun, Lauren? I'm pretty much, I don't, I don't know everything and anything. I'm, I'm for anything. Question two. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? <laughs>, <laughs> Frank, you think she's ever flashed a stranger? You know her. <laughs> I've flashed strangers, so I'm sure she's flashed strangers. <laughs> so I think, uh, yeah, I think she That has. wouldn't surprise you, huh? Not at all. No. Well, let's go to you. It's your moment of truth. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? I'm going to have to say yes, Mark. Mm -hmm. I have. <laughs> that answer is true. Truthful. The acceptingness. Yeah. So, uh, yes, I have gotten fired. That answer is true. Okay. That's five, Lauren. One more truthful question. Ten thousand dollars. Want to tell me about the time that you have fired? I don't particularly like to talk about it. So, what's in the past is in the past. So, I like to. I've moved on a completely different person now, so. Where you want to be? I hope it's something that you have since your husband is a police officer. So what do you think about this, Frank? Well, I, I arrested her, and so by me arresting her is me marrying her. So I am, she's in my prison. <laughs> you are That's quite right. the romantic, Frank. <laughs> oh, no, it's not my kid. Yeah. <laughs> We've only just begun to scratch the surface. That was already a pretty deep question. That was only question five on your way through 21 of these I questions. I know. The reason I bring that up is that you've answered five questions. You haven't won anything. You're one question away from $10,000. Yes. <laughs> you can stop at any time. What do you want me to ask you the sixth question? Bring it on, Mark. 
Lauren Cleary, this is your $10,000 moment of truth. Question six. If you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? Oh my goodness. Not um, tricky to answer given what you've just shared, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much, because it will kind of contradict itself. <laughs> uh, I am going to have to say, no, I would not. That answer is... Something we'll find out right after this break. We'll find out with more about Lauren Cleary right after this. Coming up, Lauren Cleary pushes the truth too far. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? This question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest, your ex-boyfriend, oh Frank. my God. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? And her answers will destroy her marriage. This special edition of the Moment of Truth continues. Four more to ten thousand uh, dollars. I understand you used to work as a veterinary assistant. Yes. You like animals? Love animals. I guess that would be important there, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Question three: Would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? Well, I would have to say I'd rather give food to a dog rather than a person. So your answer would be yes? Yes. That's, that's that fine. That answer is true. So that's three truths for three more $10,000. One of the things I find so interesting about this program is that you'll answer something like that and invariably the audience will applaud. That's right, don't give food to homeless, give it to the dog. They just look at you with the cute puppy faces they and then you have somebody who's got a really nasty, dirty face. It's like, hmm. <laughs> Somehow I don't feel better now that you've cleared it up there, Lauren. <laughs> got your brother and your sister here. Are you too close to Lauren? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Lauren, you would say you're close to your brother and sister? Not as close as I would like us to be, but we're close. That's cute. <laughs> Question four. Have you ever derived pleasure when one of your siblings has gotten into trouble? <laughs> yeah, how close you guys really are. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> um, yes, I have. <laughs> I have. That answer is that. true. Answers, two more, ten thousand dollars. Family and friends, we're thrilled that you're here, but you're not just here to listen because, as we've already seen, the questions can have things to do with you. You do have a little bit of control. You see that button in front of you there. Yeah. If at any time you hear a question you don't want to hear the answer, hit the button. We'll take that question out, replace it with a new question. You can only use it once, though. Okay? Yes. You want to try it once, Frank? Why not? There we go. Two more questions, you get $10,000, Lauren. So far, the questions have been fun, but not too hard. Not too hard. Would you say you're a trustworthy person? I think so. Yeah? Yes. People can count on you? I think so. Question five. Have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? Well, okay. Are you waiting for them to hit the button? No, 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 not waiting at all. You're okay um, with it. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I've come to terms. Welcome back to the Moment of Truth. I'm here with Lauren Cleary, who's just been asked a pretty difficult question, especially with what little we've learned about you already. I asked you if you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? Your answer was, no, no you would not. Before we find out if that's a lie or if it's the truth, Frank, you believe me. Uh, I do. I, I do not think she would again. Definitely not. Let's find out. That answer is 
$10,000. That is your money to keep, Lauren, if you walk away right now. If you don't walk away, it's at risk every time I ask a new question. To get to the top of level two, you'll win $25,000. You have to answer five questions to get there. But you can stop at any time. Do you want to go on? What do you guys think? <laughs> go for it. Go away. consider yourself more of a morning person or a night owl? Uh, definitely a night owl. So you like definitely. to stay up late? Yes, yep. I hate waking up early in the morning. I hate it. <laughs> Question seven. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? What do you think the answer is? <laughs> Better yes. answer. We'll see. <laughs> so, all right. Well, the question's on you, Lauren. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> that answer is true. Seven truthful answers on your way to the next level, $25,000. Congratulations. You have a lot of friends? Um, used to. Not so much anymore. Question eight. Do you blame your husband for your lack of close friends? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> 